This video will show how you can load data into a GraphDB 10.8 repository and then use its Talk to Your Graph 2.0 feature to query the loaded data with plain English natural language. We'll see that it takes less than four minutes to set this up. Then we'll issue some queries and see how it responds. Here we see an RDF file with data in the trig syntax about various products. It also has reviews and ratings of those products on a scale of one to five. There is a simple ontology or schema in a named graph near the end of the file. You can see that it lists two classes and several properties. It also lists various product categories as subclasses of the product class, which will make it easier to search among the products. We're going to use graph rag technology. RAG means Retrieval Augmented Generation, where in this case the OpenAI large language model is being augmented by the graph data set that you see here to answer questions about the product data in the graph. I'm going to create a repository for that data called Products. With no rule set, and I'm going to enable full text search for it. I'll make the new repository the active one and import the file that we just saw into it. From data here means that it should let the data specify which graphs to put the triples in. We've seen that the data we're importing has a named graph for the ontology, so we want that to go into a graph with the name that it has. The rest of the data will go into the default graph. Once the import is complete, to show you that some data got imported, we'll run this Sparkle query about products that have the word mirror in their description. And we see that there are two products, a makeup product and a sink. Now let's select talk to your graph in the lab section of the GraphDB menu. This screen is ready for me to set up an agent but it won't be ready unless you have your open API key set. I set mine in my GraphDB config file, as you can see here, although of course this isn't my actual key value. I'm going to create a new agent for this repository called Shopping Bot. I enabled full text search for this repository when I created it, so I'm going to let the agent take advantage of that, but only returning a maximum of 10 results. I'm also going to have the agent construct Sparkle queries when necessary to query the data. To help formulate these queries, it wants an ontology of the data so that it knows what classes and properties are there. That's why I stored the product's data ontology in a named graph in the trig file, so I'm going to take that name and paste it in. Then I'll click Create Agent, and we're done. The agent shopping bot was saved successfully. We built this shopping chat bot in under four minutes. We could customize more settings, but let's spend a few minutes trying it out and seeing what kind of questions it can answer about this graph of product data. First, we select the agent that we just created. In our query about mirrors, we saw a makeup product and a sink, but right now I'm interested in watches. Show me all the watches and how much they cost. With this data on this machine, I have found that it takes between 8 and 13 seconds for it to answer my queries about watches. I've edited some of that wait time out of this video to bring the video's running time down a little bit. There's the results of our query, the watches and their prices. Let's have it organize the results better. Do the same thing, but list men's and women's watches separately. So it separated the results into two categories, like I asked it to. 
Let's see what some product reviews say. So this Rolex has the most reviews. We don't have to read all those reviews. We can tell our shopping bot to summarize them. And there is the summary. This icon asks it to explain the last response. And it displays a sample request for an explanation, so I will run that. It responds by explaining the logic of the Sparkle query that it ran behind the scenes. It also shows the Sparkle query, but if it hadn't, we could just ask for it. For people who don't know much of the Sparkle query language, this is a nice way to learn more about it. Now I'm ready for some more serious watch shopping questions. What is the least expensive watch with an average review greater than three? Looks like it's the brown leather belt watch. So now I'm interested in getting this watch. Let's say I know about a sale that's coming up and I want to know what this watch will cost then. Instead of $89.99, we see it would cost at a 40% discount $53.99. There are ways to configure Talk to Your Graph to make it even more powerful but as we saw, we can do a lot with a minimal setup. What kinds of questions would your customers and coworkers like to ask about your data if they could ask in plain English with no query language syntax to worry about? Now you can load your data into GraphDB and find out.